Hi, this is Jessica Fox filming for VETT 222 Task 13, which is um, collect, prepare, and evaluate a canine vaginal smear. So I have my patient Jamie here. Um, I have the sterile swabs, some saline, a microscope slide, the diff quick, and uh, my distractor just feeding her treats. So I'm going to open up the swab here and then pre moisten it with some saline. Alright, and then I am going to enter the swab into the vaginal vestibule. Okay, and then just rotate it a few times to get the proper sample. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to roll it along a clean slide. <clears throat> Make sure there's nothing on there. There we go. Oops. Just want to roll it. Perfect. You can kind of see the sample there. So then I'm just going to um, dry it by slightly, um, gently waving it in the air. And while I'm doing that, I'll get my diff quick ready. So I'm going to stain this just like anything else you need to stain. I'll make sure this is nice and dry, um, which is going to be 10 one second dips in each stain. Um, so we'll start with the fixative and then stain one and two. <clears throat> All right, so that looks good. We'll go ahead and start the staining process. And 10. So go ahead and move on. Okay, that's 10. And then the last stain here. And 10. All right, so I'm actually going to head on over to the sink uh, just to kind of grab my distilled water, get that excess stain off. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. So we'll bring it on over to the microscope. We do want to make sure it's nice and dry so we can take a look at it, but we're going to examine this under 10. 40 and 100x power. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. Just want to make sure it's nice and dry before we look at it. You can wave it gently in the air. It's not um, quite dry. You can take this uh, paper that's meant for um, it's uh, good absorbent absorbent quality. Um, so you can stick slides in here if they're just a little bit damp and gently dry it off that way. Perfect. So this looks great. So we're under the power of 10x. We'll go ahead and take a look at our sample here. Focus it in. So now that we're focused, we'll take a look around. All right. You do want to make sure that you look at it under all three powers. So 
Well, I am seeing some things in here. I'm going to move up to 40x, focus it in. is a good field. I'm going to move up to 100x, which is the oil immersion power. Get that into focus. So like I said, I am seeing some um, cells in here, and in just a moment I'll take you over to the computer and show you exactly what I'm seeing. Perfect. All right. So I, good, I have a good representation of what's on the slide here and what we're looking at. So let's head on over to the computer, and I'll show you a few different things. Um, so the first thing we're going to go over is um, some cells seen on vaginal smears. Um, so these are the parabasal cells. Um, it's the smallest epithelial cell seen on a typical vaginal smear. Um, and I did see some of these, so that, that was on Jamie's um, vaginal smear here. Um, intermediate cells are going to look like this. Um, and then the superficial cells, which I did see a few of these as well. And then you'll see other cells such as um, erythrocytes, neutrophils, and then foam cells. All right, and the next thing I want to talk about is um, predominant cells seen during different stages of the estrus cycle. Um, so I do have some pictures. So this is um, the anestrus stage, and you'll see intermediate and paranasal cells in that stage. And then proestrus um, stage, you're going to see a gradual shift from intermediate and parabasal cells to superficial cells, red blood cells, and neutrophils will also be seen. And then moving on to the estrus stage, um, you'll see um, superficial cells. And then diastrus stage is, uh, you'll see a decline in the number of superficial cells and a reappearance of intermediate and parabasal cells. All right, and then this completes the vaginal smear.